everybody welcome back for those of you that like watch mukbangs or just want to hang out with us when we eat that's what we're doing we went to KFC we're in quarantine now we're in our car we went through the drive through KFC mukbang this is our Friday night date night how fun is this how fun is this all right my husband worked today and I stayed home and paid bills and well I don't work I mean I'm retired but I work work for you hmm. you do yes. work I stayed home paid bills and I oh, everything's like smashed in this bag I don't know I don't know if this is yours or mine it's like you got tenders right why not? Why don't we just have a chicken mukbang? Okay, this one's mine. Okay, that's for me. I'm hoping I got an extra order of coleslaw because I'm hoping I got it. Because yeah, you have to have an extra order of coleslaw when you come to KFC. You have to have the mashed potatoes and the gravy and coleslaw. Can we see? Oh, I got a cookie. Yippee. Let's see. Mashed potato. Oh, I got them. So anyway, I stayed home today and I did our taxes because those needed done. So I did those. My grandson called. I miss my grandkids. I usually see them a lot more than this because of this quarantine. Now I don't get to see them at all. And they miss coming over too. They uh... They miss g and g -Paw. Ah! There goes the camera. Sorry people. They miss g and g -Paw. So my grandson called and my granddaughter and I got to talk to them. Oh, well. Sitting a little catty wampus here. So, chicken. You got chicken? Chicken. I got dipping sauce. I need to find it. I got honey mustard and barbecue. I'm going to start with the honey mustard. Do you want any sauce? My husband's hours got cut today. Not, I mean, he was work. the overtime got cut. Let's put it that way because he's a maintenance man. You've been on, we've been on nine and a half hours. You're on nine and a half? We got, we, we've been on nine and a half. They've been we've on, been cut to eight, uh, eight, well, eight and a half. But if things happen, breakdowns or something happens, we do what we gotta do. Yeah, well, at least he still has a job. You know, you gotta feel for. Even the homeless people out in California or wherever that live on the streets, because California has a big homeless population, that eat out of the dumpsters. And I know that is gross, but that is what they do to survive, some of them. With all the restaurants closing, they're going to starve. You have food. And I thought about that today. Well, if they have, if, if they do like they do in Ohio, Restaurants are open that have drive-throughs. If drive-throughs, if they have drive-throughs, they're sure making food. Therefore, they're gonna be left over food. Right. But places that don't have pickup orders or carry-out orders or drive-throughs, well, it'll be closed. I should have just got two coleslaws and no mashed potatoes. I didn't cook dinner today, nothing. My husband's like, do you have anything planned for dinner? No, I've been busy at the computer all day today. This is good. Is that the mustard? Mm-hmm. I like the honey mustard. It is good. This chick is messy. Is it? <laughs> It's good. It's good, but it's messy. So 
sorry for boring to eat with, but you know, Gia likes to do mukbangs with me. My little granddaughter. We've done a few. We've done a few. In fact, we went through the drive-thru one day somewhere and she's like, are we gonna are we gonna eat in the parking lot and do that video thing? And we did. Mashed potatoes. Well, I hope everybody's well in this quarantine. I hope no, I hope everybody's Mmm, they're hot. They're very hot. Oh wow, those are hot. So far, knock on wood, everybody in our household is well. Everybody in my family is well. That we know of. The grandkids are feeling better. They were sick for quite a while. My grandson ran a fever over 100 for almost five days. Mm -hmm. Took him to the emergency room. They tested him for flu, they tested him for strep, they tested him for everything. Everything. And he had nothing. The doctor said, oh, it's a virus. Well, they never tested him for the big virus that everybody's, you know, worried about. And, um... I don't, I don't know if they have those tests or not. I heard today that some places don't even have those tests. Well, I think the hospital does, I know for sure. But in order to have that test, you have to go through blood work you have to go through a flu test you have to several different testing and those test results don't come back for five days and if you test negative on all of that then they'll test you for the other virus that isn't popular that I don't want to say the name of because I don't think we can on YouTube and those testing results come back if well if you're the president they take hours but if you're like the normal public the, it takes days for those to come back so i don't know it's the virus shut down the country <laughs> yeah and i don't know if you've seen this but there's a man in warren in a hospital here making videos from his isolation room he started making videos. That's my phone. I'm just going to, I'll answer in a little bit. He started making videos like a week ago when he went on in isolation. And then he was picked up by all the news sources and the newspapers and everything. Well, he's walking around his hospital room now. He's better. He's much better than he was. He could breathe. He could everything. And... The hospital now wants to release him because there's other sicker people that need to come in. He just made a video saying they're strong arming me. They're trying to get me out. I only watched like two minutes of the video and I had to stop watching it because, of, you know, this guy's getting paid for. I think he was on like Entertainment Tonight even or one of those news shows. Well, you know, he's getting paid for all of these appearances that he's making from his hospital bed and he's just now he's he looks like he's in for it for the money people on facebook now that in our area are calling him out saying you know if you're well enough go home you know well, that's my take of it there's other people that are sicker than you hospitals aren't there to make money help mm -hmm. them make money so i don't know it just seems all crazy. It's like, oh, did you see that? <laughs> Do I have this on my face? My barbecue sauce just exploded. I know my jacket, I know. Oh, well. Well, <laughs> I don't even remember what I was saying. But anyway, if he's just, you know, uh, there's other people that are dying and sicker than you. Go home. Hospitals aren't there to cater yes. to other people to make them money. Right. If you're sick, I understand you're sick. But if you're well, you're taking up a bit for someone else who is sick. That and all of the supplies, the hospital is short on supplies in every area of the country. You know, they, they need used on people that really, really need it. And it's just starting. So it's not like it's on the downhill side. It's just starting to ramp up. So somebody, you're, you're taking up space for somebody else being there. 
or not being, they can't be there because you're there, or you know, a, a person isn't sick as being there. I ain't right. Somebody trying to profit from this virus. That's what I feel. That's just my opinion. My opinion. All alleged, my opinion. I don't want to get sued. We are allowed to have opinions. We are. On another note, we were just at Tractor Supply picking up a battery or, no, we were taking, I don't know, a battery or a tractor. We're getting our tractor, our lawn tractor ready. I bought a new, I bought a new lawnmower battery for my lawnmower and they charge you a core charge to turn in the old battery. So it's a $10 core charge. I take the old battery back and I get my $10 back. Mm. I bought chai seeds. I didn't even know. I've Well, I, I've never seen them before. I thought I could plant those and make some when I make salads and stuff. Put it in a salad. My daughter and her family now don't eat meat and um, they eat lettuce and all that stuff. Well, what vegetarians eat. <coughs> she was in Sam's Club today and buying lettuce and she was only allowed to buy one bunch of lettuce. There was a, a limit on what you could buy one one. She could only buy one romaine, romaine head lettuce. I told her, I said, well, I'll start growing lettuce for you in my little greenhouse that I made. I got a couple different varieties of lettuce just so it would be a pretty salad. I got some like purple lila, you know, just so it would be pretty. Let's see my wife's. And then, what else did I buy? I bought, did I, I might have bought another lettuce. I had different lettuce seed there too. Lettuce, I just bought that. Because I'm thinking the little greenhouse that I made, I'm going to just keep it in, I, I might keep that up all year and just grow lettuce if I can. Oh, well, the camera turned off. What you missed is my husband kissing me and hitting me in the head with the, his hat, I think. I don't know. All right, well, that's dinner with us. Date night in the car at KFC. Dinner at KFC's on quarantine. <laughs> on quarantine. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.